Hello, Kathleen. Um, my name is Cole Rakeen. I know this is kind of an unconventional way to get a message to you. It saves me a little time. It might help you just to kind of get to know who I am and what I'm what I'm actually asking for, what and what I might be able to help you with, possibly. Um anyway, the uh, what I want. What I want to ask is whether you um, have some high school debaters who might be willing to do kind of an exhibition for the Tillamook County Democratic Party. So um, you may remember exchanging some emails with me uh, probably a couple of years ago. I went, That's back when I was the chair of the Tillamook County Democratic Party. Um, by the way, I live, uh, the reason you and I exchanged I sent you an email a couple of years ago. Is I live near Nestucca um, High School. I live over in Hebo, you know, just kind of around the, you know, down, um, just down from Hebo Market uh, on 101. I, I live in the Three Rivers area south of Hebo. Um, anyway, I sent you an email a couple of years ago because somebody told me that you were the um, choir director, I think, or you were in charge of the music program and I was looking for some high school kids who might want to sing my country tis of the year something for us at some event I was trying to put on but um we I don't think we managed to find someone who could do that this year um I I was asked to contact a local high school debate coach who might be willing to um, help us find some high school debaters who could do kind of an exhibition for people who are politically involved in the Tillamook County area, uh, just to kind of help people see what high school debate is is like. And I, I've been kind of pitching this because the high school debate was just such a hugely influential thing in my life a long long time ago when i was in high school i just became an obsessive high school debater i spent all my time you know when i wasn't you know playing tennis but otherwise just um high school debate was the whole my life and then went on i was a college debater same thing, just spent all my time on the college debate circuit. And then um, went on to law school. I went to Harvard Law School and spent most of my time doing moot court at Harvard Law School. So I was I was just really, I'm a huge fan of high school debate. And I, and I wanted people in the Tillamook County Democratic Party to kind of see how um, how valuable that is, and also learn how uh, formal debate works. You know, that I, I don't think that a lot of people understand that debates we we can have civil conversations about and and thought provoking conversations about difficult issues, and we don't have to just yell at each other. So um, the issue that I think might be particularly helpful to have an exhibition to be, debate about was actually discussed in, um, must have been our legislative committee meeting, not last night, but the night before probably. Um, and it has to do with a, um, a particular bill in the Oregon House, uh, House or Senate, or maybe both, actually, which was not, did not pass, but it uh, has to do with book banning in uh, public schools. And we would like to shine a light on that issue just because it's, um, it's relevant to our, our work. Uh, but also, I you know I think it it is likely interesting to high school students, um, and we have a kind of a, a value in the Democratic Party of 
openness of expression, free expression. And so we're, we're generally opposed to book banning. And we were disappointed that this bill did not pass. That's the reason it came up at our legislative committee meeting. And, um, and we'd like to hear what high school students have to think about it and, or what, what they do think about it. And a great way to do that would be to have some smart debaters sort of help flush out the, the issues on both sides. I'll, I'll tell you that we're not, we're not a bunch of ideologues in the, at least in the Tillamook Tula County Democratic Party. Other parts of the Democratic Party certainly are filled with ideologues, but we've got some open-minded people. And I, or in fact, I think I'd characterize the majority of our people that way, but we're not absolutists on this issue. There, I, I'm a longtime member of the ACLU, but, but, you know, probably since I was early twenties, but I also think there is a place for parental involvement in um, what goes into libraries, school, public school libraries. I think there's a place for parental involvement there. And uh, I would, I, I think this probably different standards should be applied in public schools than in just general public libraries. Uh, like I, I would kind of have a problem if if I knew that Nazi literature or, you know, protocols of the elders of Zion or some anti-Semitic thing like that was in uh, in pub public school libraries or creationism. I don't want just, I don't want my kids or grandkids at this point going to a school where um, creationist literature is on the shelves with the science literature, right? So I I also have strong feelings about this, and I, I would want to have the right to be involved in these kinds of issues. Maybe I shouldn't be involved. Who knows? But I'd like to know what high school students think about it. Anyway, I wonder if we could talk about it. Um, I'm going to send you my contact information separately. If you've got some kids who might want to um, help show uh, old people in Tillamook County kind of uh, what they're up to and and that they that they are uh, they have some valuable things to say um, which you'd like to which you'd like to hear it but let's you and me talk if you're willing and um, and then also at some point I, I want to talk to you about in being involved like maybe as a if you ever need a, a judge if you're taking kids to a tournament i know sometimes you you are required to supply a certain number of judges when you take a team to a tournament and i used to do that years ago when my kids were and I, my, my son was in high school and um i just kind of like to get back i have some kind of connection with a local high school debate program so i might be a resource to you that way on down the road anyway this has gone on too long thank you for listening and i'll hope to be in touch with you sometime soon